my name is Latim Reni David, course leader BBC. Um, year two evening class. Um, I want to remain you guys that Corona is real, so I need you guys to like stay safe, be strong, and yeah. So this is the question today. I want to take you guys through great books, and this is the question you're going to work with today. Of Jogo distributors, I think I've done this question in class. Let's look through. Uh, yes. See, we've done this. So yeah, let's go through. Okay, let's see. So, um, I always start by telling people to create a folder on the desktop. And let me see. Today I'm going to call my lad. Lad stands for my acronyms. Then QB. So LAD stands for Latin Rene David and QB QuickBooks. So let's see here. So when that is set up, you start your QuickBooks. It will load. It will load as you see. Yeah. It has loaded. So I think I had created a file for these guys. So I'm going to say create a new company. So that's what's supposed to show. So, so we're going to say details start. Okay, so let's. So remember, our company is called Jogo. Jogo. Jogo Distributors. Distributors uh, Limited. That's the company name. See? So if I have to go back here, um, let me hurry. The first page, the first page is saying Jogo Distributors Limited has incorporated in 2016 and deals in the distribution of drinks. Deals in the distribution of drinks. So we go back to our QuickBooks and we register the company. So it is on Lugazi. Uh, Lugazi Ginger Highway. Um, the PO box, the PO box, um, the PO box was this comma Kampala, Uganda. So we use zip codes in our country here, like Uganda, when well, sometimes post office like runs out of uh, PO bo like box numbers at their place, so they give you a zip code. Yeah, then the company is in a city called Kampala. Then other the email is Jogo twenty-three shift at yahoo.com the website w dot jogo this sorry distributors dot co dot ug so you guys are on it this is gonna get you this sheet from so you can see the question has they have given us that that location Ugazi along ginger highway this is the PO box the email is this one the website is that one Okay, then the company. So when you reach there, you know you're done with this part. So you, you click next. Okay, so my recording is right there. Okay. So on this. So it's a distribution company. So I just tap to W and it brings wholesale distribution. Because I've been like, interacting with QuickBooks at work we use QuickBooks. So I was like, okay. So because I know, yeah, and I just every I do accounting for many companies and uh, distribution. So yeah, the wholesale that's it. That's how you distribution. So you go next. It's a corporation. Yes, corporation. It's a regular company. So you say next again. Our fiscal year starts in January. What makes you believe that your fiscal year starts in January? It's because they're saying the company's accounting system has been purely manual. And management agreed to compare it effective on 1st January. So, 
So by the time a company decides to change its accounting business or the way it manages its accounts, most likely they did it at uh, at the beginning of a new fiscal year or a new financial year. And another thing that helps guide me into knowing that the fiscal year starts on 1st January of every year, you're going to continue reading that question and where they say, in addition, the following balances had been extracted from the books of accounts as at 31st December 2017. So you're going to see like the last things they, the last things they recorded in their books of accounts, like in the previous year, on 31st December 2017. That means that's when their, the previous financial year ended. And the new financial year started on 1st January 2018. So you need to take note of that. Yeah. I hope we're together. So let's go back to the software. So you see, I'm going to put January. So some companies, it's not a must that their fiscal year ends on 31st December and begins on 1st January. It can end on somewhere between July and June. That's I don't know those months. So don't cram that it's always January. Okay, let's go next. Um, it's not necessary to do that. So we're going to create our company file. When you see, when you tap next. It's going to bring for you this window, then you tap desktop. You go to desktop, you look for LAD, open it, then you say save. So it's going to create that company file. Yeah, yeah, let it create. It's creating, guys. Yeah, it takes some time running back in codes and shit. Okay, let me shut up. <laughs> Okay, 99%. Okay, let me talk again. So when it's done creating your company, if you take it next to the next, which is the easy step interview. Still part of the interview process progress. So customers in big books here there's nothing like we really do. You go next. Actually, we are doing we are selling products, not services, but you need to take note of your question. I, mean, I believe we are selling products is because of this deals in the distribution of drinks. So um then you go next you charge sales taxes really nigga no it's recommended for a business if you're running like a real business yeah they for our company we do charge sales taxes so that is that my thing is it's like save to charge sales taxes vat at 18 percent so not for this question <sighs> do you want to create estimates in quickbooks no so they're saying some businesses refer to estimates as quotes bids or proposals our business doesn't really need to make proposals though some businesses do some distribution companies do yeah so it's just no because we're not going to work with proposals yeah um tracking customer orders tracking customer orders in quickbooks do you want to track sales orders advise you yes using statements okay yes i do want to use progress invoicing no progress invoicing is when you've been given a contract hmm? uh, <coughs> okay let's do you want to keep track of bills you owe do you want to keep track of bills you owe yes you're going to need to know uh, you know in which vendor you owe money to tracking how much money you owe remind you when your bills are due so you're going to see us paying bills so i think we need to keep track of our bills let's go next uh tracking inventory advice it is yes trust me it is yes you see we're going to be dealing in importation and stuff entering our stocks the new things we have brought next you want to track time in big books no for this question, I advise you to choose not because you don't have employees that you pay per hour. You get it. Or you don't have, uh, cust you don't build customers depending on the time they have spent on a project. We're not running projects. We do wholesale distribution. So I advise you to choose not. And even QuickBooks knows it's not necessary for your business. Obviously, we have no employees for this question. Um, Using accounts next. Okay. So, uh, select a date start tracking. So as I told you, for our company, you see, they are telling us the company as it's effective first January. 
It's because that's when a new financial year for that company, for Jugo distributors begins. Yeah, so it begins on 1st January. So me, I'm going to just edit here to 18. Then I come and adjust the calendar. Yeah. First, okay. See, see, so see next. Um, when you're choosing the accounts that you're going to work with in the charts of accounts, I advise people not to tamper with this place. No, I advise people not to tamper with this place because there are some accounts here they may look useless, but you can rename them into like a telephone expense, rent, you know. So, I advise you to just chill. Don't stress, just chill in there. Okay, okay. Maybe this one, I can remove this one. Let me say next. Congratulations, you've completed the easy setup interview. You now have a company file with customized settings for your business. Next, we will help you enter your critical business info using QuickBooks setup. So, you go to setup. Now, when you go, when you tap on that, they're going to bring for you that that's the quickbook setup this is for pros this is for pros okay and i don't want to confuse people so i'm going to close it and do things step by step so okay let me now also do this here um yeah do i really need to explain this do i really nah nah i want to show you what is examinable they're not going to tell you to explain this process, but you really still need to know it. If you want me to know it, you'll tell me and I'll make a special one for it. So I'm also closing. Thank you. Okay. So I like it like this. QuickBooks looks fresh. So when your QuickBooks is set up like this, your company, that means your company has been registered. There are things I want you guys to take note of. Let's first chill these balances which had been extracted from the books of accounts as of 31st December. Let's chill them a little bit. Let's go to now what the question once required. So they're saying, assume you are, you are the accountant of Jugo Distributors Limited. Hope to computerize the company accounting system by accomplishing the following tasks. So have you created a company using the company names and save it in the folder you have created on desktop you see that's really nice see then set up multiple currencies and it did set up multiple currencies now that's what i wanted you to take note of those are things they're going to see set up multiple currencies they're going to tell you in brackets jogo transacts in uganda shillings i'm going to show you how to do that let's read the other instructions customize quickbooks sets of accounts okay this was set up multiple currencies and I'm going to see the other things you need to set up. So, file. So, under file, we don't have really a lot to do here. It's edit. You come to edit. Come to preferences. Tap it. It will open this window. So, I'm going to show you everything that we edit. When you come to accounting, see, I've tapped on accounting, company preferences. Okay. What we are required to change here is these date warnings. The date warnings, it will keep, because QuickBooks is a little bit of a wiseacre, it will warn you if your transactions are 90 days in the past. My G, we are in 2021 and we are we're recording books of 2018, so it's going to disturb us. So let's shut you up. Warn if transactions are 30 days in the future. If they give us a question which is, in 2025 so i advise you to just knock this out. but if you're at work not okay then you say okay normally big books closes then you come back again edit preferences so we've done we're done with accounting then the next one is general is there anything in general let's check the company preferences there's nothing in general items and inventory so in items and inventory always enable the unit of measure so you enable i like single because most of the things are per kilo you know not per 10 kilos so i say finish and i press ok quickbooks closes normally and it will want you to go back and edit those preferences 
other preferences. You may think it has not edited, but you'll see, see, it's now saved. Um, now multiple currencies, see, I've tapped on multiple currencies, company preferences. So I say, yes, I use more than one currency. Tap on it. It's going to tell you you're about to turn on multiple currencies. You'll be like, my key, yes. Then you come and choose the one you want. So you say, view more currencies. Our money is not so far. This is so you say, make it active. Uh, Yes, QuickBooks is an American software, so they think we're supposed to use US dollars all the time. Yeah. Well, obviously, I use US dollars when I'm trading. <laughs> but okay, let's see QuickBooks time. Uganda shillings. Okay, you see, yes. So that's done in press, okay? So the company file will now close and reopen the updated cities in press, okay? So it's going to do to run its magic scene. Uh, let it load, let it load. Da -da. Da -da. What is it? Don't show again. Let me see. Yes. Ah, so, as I said, to close this, I, I don't like this. And I always minimize this. So, I say edit. Preferences. Um, Payments. Let's see. Payments. Company preferences. Always uncheck this because when you don't uncheck it, all the payments you'll be making will be going to an account called undeposited funds. So it's better you uncheck it and you press OK. See, OK. Good. Preferences. Is there anything else which I really need to remind you guys? Payroll. Let me see. Sales. Uh, this is there's really nothing. Other things, other things which are not necessary. So you'd be like, okay, you're done with preferences. So <laughs> what I was trying to show you guys is that sometimes um they will tell you they will tell you that you need to what you need to 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 change only the currency, but you need to change other settings. To make QuickBooks easy for you, to make it nice, you may start using QuickBooks and you get stuck. So the question is saying, see, so we're done with part A and B. Let's continue down. Uh, customize QuickBooks charts of accounts to that of Jogo distributors. Take on opening balances, liabilities. So this part. Is 25 marks because we're not going back here up we are here here this so the opening balances they start from customer balances vendor balances stock balances those are all opening balances these are the assets and liabilities so let's start with i'm going to start with the customer balances i want us to move in order starting from here we're now attempting question c here i'm now attempting question c the question c so once we're done it's c then we shall just go to d and make the reports so question c is what is technical yeah okay mm -hmm. taking my coffee okay so mm -hmm. so someone is really using this paper okay so we're going to start with the customer balances so when they say these are the customer balances this that means these are customers we command ya like i know you're not covered or disturbs me but we demand them yes they have our money so what how do we enter them into the system so we come here come to customers customer center customer center is loading then you come to we drop here new customer then our first customer is what we gonna show up as so i prefer capital letters so we gonna let me type it here under company name. Mukono. Sh 
Tropas. So someone is maybe wondering that no, this guy is not changing this part, the date. Nada. There's no need because I'm not putting in any opening balances. The opening balances, I'll put them at once when I'm entering lot, making general journals. And that's why I'll be so, so, so serious about the date. But when I'm just entering the customer names, there's no need. They give us other details about the customer. They give us his number 0704254155. So, this one is 0704254155. Then the email is what? They give us an email. Mukona at Yahoo. Okay, email. Let me do one. Then email. Sorry, Mukono. Small letters for emails. Mukono at Yahoo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is it, Mukono at Yahoo. Another thing I need you guys to take note of is the additional information. So we normally refer to such people as data as manga tubamanja data so okay okay you just say okay to add them there then you say okay so it normally adds the information here see so when you're done with Mukono Shoppers guy you go back to the question and be like okay which is the next guy zero outlet zero outlet there's another guy with Kubanja you come to new customer and job, then it's a new customer. Like Luzira. Luzira. Outlet. The main phone number is what? 0704 830 See? 0704830. Zero ten. Uh, his email is funny. LZ one one two three four. Okay, yeah. small letters LZ one one two shift at info. So just put it there. If they give it to you in the paper, these are things I can tell you, Max. Because what if they tell you to give you a report for the zero outlet? See, so you need to do that. There are additional information now to Avanja. So because you already did it from Mukono, it will be here. See? So you just tap on it and you say okay. Done. See? So the information is normally here. This is zero outlay, it is a data to Mwanja bill to the zero. Okay. Now when you're done with the customers, you know you know you're done, yeah. You normally close them. And I go to the next. Hey, look now, these are vendor balances. It takes a but one they demand us for Kabaka with the Mubaba. So we have Century Bottling Company. So you come to vendors, new vendor, new vendor. So you come to new vendor here, then you type in. Century Bottling Company Limited. So, do they give us any other information? So, this is the showing us that their number of Mukunu and by any number, the number is 0392. Double five, double six, double one. You come and put it here. Zero, three, nine, two. Double five, double six, double one. Over. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. Then. Yeah. The other thing you can add is the address, I think. Number of 
Sí, hay un TDP en la madre. Coma. Un con. And so that's it. Uh, the additional information I can give them is that one. Yeah. So I'm not going to call them creditors, I'll call them service providers. Okay, not service providers, let me just call them creditors. Creditor manager. Creditor and the creditor. So, okay. So when you press OK, see the information comes here. Okay, so makes it easy. Mm -hmm. Then you see new vendor. Another one for the second guy. So someone was wondering, eh, this guy is not changing his dates because I'm not entering any, any opening balance here. See, this opening balance is nothing. You don't enter opening balances at this stage. It's really confusing. So the next guy is LV Bottling. LV Bottling Company Limited. Yeah, okay. So I'm not like typing here because it copies it out there. Yeah. LV. Bottling Company Limited. Their number is so it was zero. What? Let me check. Zero three nine two double four twenty one double zero. So it's zero three nine two double four twenty one double zero. These guys are where they are located. Where? Luzira Kampala. Hmm. You come and also add it here. Luzira. <laughs> so, select the technical parts. If you must select these parts, how to put these things inside. Eh? Trust me, that straight up from general entries becomes easy. So, you say, okay. So, you'll see the information are here. Just tap on the guide and change the information. So, yeah, you see them as creditor. So I'm done with the vendors for now. We are So we are done with the customer balances, vendor balance. Now we're going to stock balances. How do you enter stock balances? Go back to QuickBooks. So we come to lists. Is it list? Item list, you see? Under charts of accounts, there's item list. Then just make it be. Okay. Then you see here down is item. See this cut down part here in the corner. Now uh, we're gonna cut it by left over right here, you know. See uh, that in it up new. So we're dealing in inventory. See? Yeah. So which kind of inventory? Let's look at the question. Oh no juice. Oh no juice. Oh no. Oh no juice. See? Oh no juice. Um it's, it's measured in what? Uh it's a curtains, it's measured in curtains. So you come here, you add new curtains, curtains zero. So the account say so next others event. Uh, Tap other than is the next. Then you see cuttons. Cuttons. Sitting. Cuttons. Then is I finished. Still add there. On no juice. So under the purchase information, you'll be like purchase. Sorry. Purchase of no juice. Hmm. So when you're done with that, you come here under the same, but here just say, say, so this is how I did it. Just say A, L, sell under the sales information. So what's the cost to me buying this funnel juice? I bought each at 20, cost per unit, CPU means cost per unit, so I bought each at 25K. So I come and put it here. I rub. I'm gonna wrap, then I say 25. Oh, the which cut one, eh? uh, How many quantities? Yeah, so 
So this is 25,000. Uh, on hand, I have, because they are opening balances, it's what we found after the yard in its own dollar. Take note of the account here. Under the sales information, take note of this account. Income account. So it is under sales. Now this is where the date becomes very sensitive. So all these balances were 31st, 2017. See, so I changed the date to 31st December. See, so take note. So the value is here. So you see this is 25 million, which is this, see? Now here, you must be wondering, oh, has it changed the date? Because I'm now putting in the real values. This is the only point I can put in values. Now, some of you will press OK, but I prefer next. When I press next, it allows me, okay, this is just a close. It allows me to put in the next item, then I press OK at once. Wait and see. So you see Pepsi soda. So also Pepsi soda is here. Pepsi soda. Uh, it's what? In also cartons? Cases. Eh? So we saw cases somewhere here. So I say add new. It's in count. Next. Since it's not here, say add. Is it? Cases. I will do this. See, see. I finish. Okay, here yeah, it is always purchase of Pepsi soda. Then here yeah, sell. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. So when you're done, you see sales information is sell. Purchase, yeah. So, um, each case is cost per unit is twenty four thousand. So you come and check. Yeah. And let's remove all those things. Twenty four thousand. Then on hand we had one thousand five hundred cases, right? My friend, don't forget the date. So, the date is twenty eight. 17 because these are the balances we found at the end the beginning of our financial year but where we're putting 31st december is because these balances were of 31st december of the previous year so you have to put that date. so you see the value has already changed here it is sales so once you see with you have put in like let me say you have more than two items and you like you just keep on pressing next 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 then you press ok so when you press OK, like you see, everything is added. Everything has been added. Just tap to see that information. See, looks beautiful, right? So you press OK. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Now where the dates are. But you see, once you're done, man, you're done. You can't change the dates. So you have to be get take a note. Okay. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Now once we are done with that, I normally close see this is correct. Close it. Yeah. I'm now also done with what? Stock balances. I'm moving in a line. Yeah, for the stock balances I was putting the date is because we're putting in the value. So Let's continue now. We're going to our charts of accounts to edit here. Yeah. Okay. We're now going to edit these things. So under other assets and liabilities. So we come here. Mm, lists, charts of accounts. Make it big. See? So our first account is what? Delivery truck. It's an asset, right? It's an asset, it's a fixed asset. So from what I normally do, you see, hmm. editing these accounts is there some. So uh, what I normally do, I come here. 
I see in our question you don't have furniture and equipment, so I tap on it. I just edit the account. See, so I change it to delivery truck. Delivery truck. The description. Mm, I just see delivery truck. Delivery truck. Better you allowed to you're allowed to advise me kwanga nange you're not CV money so advise me I need to advise I need to be taught something new so I see save and close so you see it is here delivery truck next that's it tractors and trailers but uh, we don't have tractors and trailers so what I normally do I come I see how oh, next so that's delivery truck at cost you must be wondering why it the date is because man is in the sentence as it come so I'm not like input that money yet. So we're going to create an account for accumulated depreciation for trucks. So there's an account is around here because accumulated depreciation is just a fixed asset. Okay. So okay. So I'm going to edit this one. Let me edit this one. Uh this one just needed to be made. Accumulated depreciation. Arc dip delivery delivery truck. So you can just say accumulated depreciation on. On delivery truck. Simple. Can you see? So, so we now have the accumulated depression for delivery truck. Then the next one is building cost. Get these trailers. Edit the accounts to um, how do we call them? A building. Building well, let me calculate it here. Yes, it is too. Building like this is more letters. See? Then we need an account for accumulated depreciation. So we tap it. It's a new and a fix asset. Then it's in a continue. See, say so be like arc dip. Uh, for building. I just say building. Arc dip building. You know, you can use your own terms. It can be arc dip building. Then <sighs> say accumulated new description. These descriptions are necessary. Depreciation on building because why they're necessary it makes it easy for the lecturer to see work in, in, in your reports. This is a one class, so you didn't see I have accumulated depreciation the building, the elevator, building track. So, because it was our next account here, I see accumulated depreciation building. Okay, now our next accounts are bank accounts. Our next accounts are bank accounts. Our next accounts are bank accounts. So, okay. Our next accounts are bank accounts. Let me first connect my power cable. Okay. So, um, so what we do for this? Let me increase the brightness. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that 
to work with us. Okay, um, so we are here. We're going to now do the banking part. So we come here. So you see this new. We're going to create a bank account. Continue. So we're going to start with this one, cash at bank, but it's Orient Bank. Okay. You have the account number there. So I'm going to say <sighs> Orient Bank. So this Orient Bank. Then here I build a cash at bank account at bank you can see that that's put in the account number and you see the account number is some weird shit 12 36 take note these account numbers are very important i'll show you where they come in handy the chains of water 78 100 78 100 someone must be asking why is it copying and pasting from the pdf because the pdf is a peak i can't copy paste 76 310 76 310 so this is save a new because they have other bank accounts to create this is save a new then you do that for cash at bank but stand big bank then you say stand big See, it's quite easy, you just need to practice. Then you see, cash at bank account in Stanley Bank. Something like that. So, to get the lecture, this one I must have the account number, it's 3000, I think, or some number. 889. See, so we have another app bank account. We call it Petty Cash. Okay. Petty Cash. It'll be like Petty Cash. Yes. So it has no bank account. This one, Petty Cash. Mm -hmm. Petty Cash has no bank account. So you say save and close because it was others someone is like someone may be saying hey what did that day in a bank alone bank loans have their own account, their own account here so you see new bank where there's loan let me say continue but loans are generally other current liabilities so don't get confused when you see the account type of they are changing to other Current liabilities, so you just say bank loan. It's very right for calculators. Bank loan. Then, yeah, bank loan. And about for the description, I prefer small letters. Bank loan. It has an account number, it's a seven class. Then, here, um, after retained earnings brought forward, this is a normal equity. Yeah, equity. Retained earnings brought forward. Let me see if you have any other things here. Yeah. Hey, so we're almost done. So you see, we're almost done with the other liabilities and what? But other sets and liabilities. So, so I normally come and look at the equity area. Banga and equity. See, there's this account for retained earnings. See? See, so because I like my accounts with capital letters. Sorry, sorry, sorry for that. Let's close it. It will take you back. So I just say edit. So is even a description descriptions already. Switch so and nice. And so you see the advantage of not like unticking everything. The other part where I showed you guys. If you can rewind back, there's a part where when we're creating our company profile, I told you guys not to untick anything in the charts of accounts, just leave it because there's this advantage. See, so say seven plus chain done, it's done. Another one is share capital. Share capital. 
which is also known as capital stock. See, so we have here, we don't antique anything because now here I'm just going to say share capital value of corporate stock. See, you see, I said that because easy as that, so everything is going to be easy, everything is going to be easy for us, okay. Um, everything is done, it's nice. So, before we run to page three, before we run to page three, by that thing, of, uh, this helps a lot. Before we run to this part, this part, in addition to that part, we're going to first enter general journals because I think that's what our question wants us to do. Our question wants us to customize and using general general entries create a report in PDF. So I want us to do the general general entries. Take on the earning balances of assets liability. Uh what we're doing we're just entering them into the system. But now we're going to enter general general entries. So I go back to QuickBooks. Okay. Um. Right. Yeah. So I normally want to close chats of accounts. So when you want to make general general entries, you can open from list list of account account here. See make general general entries tap on it it's going to load general general entries mm. Mm -hmm. so okay so you make it big yeah so i normally change this to all all want us to be seeing all our transactions dates <laughs> be careful of the dates at currency make sure that this card just thing is on so i just now start from here so we're going to take on general general entries and create the, the report so let me go back up so someone's going to wonder if he has gone back to customer balances because we're not entered there these amounts here on the side that 18 million what what so we make General entries for customer balances. So before we continue, let's go back to charts of accounts. Um, there are accounts which you must create, even though they don't tell you. Hmm? There are accounts you must create, even though they don't tell you. And if you still want to create them for you, so you come to new, other account types, you choose accounts receivable continue <sighs> these accounts you create even though they're not told you so receivable mm -hmm. accounts receivable let's type in that but accounts receivable is normally money you expect to receive this is seven close see then you create an alpha for accounts people easier mm. to track your credit it's an account that tracks your credit so you say accounts people step in the same here that's best. Uh, sorry. Keep a different. This is a one close. When you're done creating those two accounts, let me show you. Accounts payable and accounts receivable. Yeah, so we go back. So you come here, you say accounts because we're receiving money from these customers. So 
be a normal account receivable. So I normally put this then opening balance equity because we're receiving money from them. I put 18 million on the debit side and 18 million on the opening balance equity. I put 18 million on the credit side. So one, two, three. The memo is opening balance. I can even use one to the opening balance. So it's a opening balance. Four. Which company was this? Mukono shop. Mukono show us. Okay, opening balance from Mukono show us. So you, I advise guys normally like pick it up. See what I'm doing? You copy. See, just paste it here. Yeah, and I may use it for the rest of the time. So because it's an account receivable, so check the dates. It has to be thirty first December. 31st December of the previous year, not 2018. Currency has to be home currency. I just mean don't tick that, but it's in UGX. So uh, yeah. So I untick untick this. So let's you gonna share it. So you're going to why I'm I'm going to try and save then it's going to show you something. So it'll be like save on you. So it's going to say transactions to accounts receivable must include a customer. So you see, okay. So you see where this name you tap it and the account name or the line of accounts receivable. I've seen you guys, some of you guys come on the line of our opening balance equity, which is wrong. <coughs> which is wrong. So come to the line of accounts receivable. Is this card drop down? Look for Mukono Shop. Add it there. Let me tap save and new. It's going to save up. See? Very beautiful. Then go to the next customer to Vanja. Oh, go to Vanja. Yes. Rosira. Outlet. So you do the same. Balance receivable. Opening balance equity. We're getting money from him. That's 10 more, I think. 10, more. 10 million. One, two, three. One, two, three. 10 million. Two, three, one, two, three. So here it's normally uh mm, so I told you this so I just change this to Luzira see Luzira outlet Luzira outlet see then I do the same here so do the same Luzira outlet. So still when you try to save, it won't allow. You put in there. And you say save. So all the transactions you do will be showing up here in this place. Because I selected all. Then we're now going to the lane that there are vendor balances. So vendor balances. Um, this is where we're going to be paying vendors at one of his accounts pay. Yeah. And opening balance, which is that. So under accounts pay, because I'm paying them, money is leaving our company. Paying them 20 million. Paying Century Between Company 20 million. Say credit under accounts pay. And under opening balance equity. Debit. So here it stays the name balance for century. See Century Bottling Company Limited. So I prefer copying and testing. Crazy. 
Come here. It won't allow you to save, so you have to look for this guy. This is a ring that needs to save. Pull it out. See? Yeah, so you keep on doing the same. Accounts payable value. Oh no. Then. Opening balance equity. We're crediting that money because we are paying it out. So it's also 10 million. Two. Then. See, so you just do that. Is there a way? Okay. See, there is right. So you just put here LV bottling company. See, they're gone. Yeah is okay so when you're done with the customer balances and vendor balances remember stocks balances you really put them there when we're entering the items so you bypass that so we're now going down so to this part mm, a delivery truck is an asset so <laughs> d yeah ah, sorry take note of the dates you guys take note I mean, this is my date. Delivery truck. Yeah. And opening balance. So, because it's an asset, I'm going to debit it. 70 million. One, two, three. Seventy million. Then you do the same here. Shit, sorry. Seventy million. Then it's no money. Opening balance for delivery truck. Delivery. Delivery truck. So. You copy, press it here, and it's a seven. You can just when it brings the thing of tracking fixed assets and general entries, blah blah blah. You just need to know that you just have to tick it, tick the not display. Yeah, then you say okay. Then the next part here is. Uh, accumulated depreciation. Uh, that has to be in line. Accumulated depreciation for tax. So you just say arc. So you look down. See a fixed asset. In spite of the fact that it is a fixed asset, it has a normal credit balance. So you credit it here. Yeah. Normal credit balance. So say 14 million. So you say 1, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Under there. It's a fixed asset, but it has a normal credit balance. So you have to credit it. So you say opening balance for accumulated depreciation on the return. Then it's too long. I'm going to just. So this is if I knew. Okay. Continue. So you continue doing that. Continue doing that for building. Okay. So do the same for building, building there. Opening balance here. Building is an asset. It's worth how much? A hundred million. Jeez. So this is a hundred. One, two, three, one, two, three. 
hundred, one, two, three, one, two, three. So yes, sir. Control V. Damn. Any balance for building? So yes, sir. Best. This is right. Then, um, yeah, we're going to do a community depreciation for the building, so we come here. Uh, then, opening balance. See, so, all these accounts are there, but sometimes you may forget to create the account, you just add it from there. I'm going to show you how to do that. So, community depreciation was at 10 million for the building, so 10. One two three, one two three, ten million. So you say, one two three, four. Accumulated depreciation on building. So you just copy. And best. trust me, once you're done with general entries, trust me, it have been praying that I, I reach here. So it's a seven new. Then we go here. Uh, okay. The bank accounts, yeah, because it's our money. Let's start with Orient Bank and opening balance. So it we debit it's our cash yes so it's 40 million in a red bank then yeah so so 40 million then is it orient Copy. Best. Okay. Is it zero new? So this is a list of all the companies. See. Mm. Yeah. Then you do for stand B. Balance. It's not big red fifty five million. So many made. See, so once you do that, so you just keep on doing that for the rest of your life. Petty cash, you do the same. I mean, it seems like a lot of work, but once you're done with this part, trust me, it's easy for you. Trust me, it's easy for you. 15 million, so it's a 15, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. It's our money, so it's still debited. And you create a disease. So it's this opening balance. Pretty cash. Pretty cash is the money you have in your drawer. If not, to Machida. So you copy. And paste. CC7. Then bank loan thing is obvious liability. Bank loan 
any imbalance. So the demand is how much in the bank? One hundred and fifteen million. You do the you quickly beat the opening balance. is that next one is retained earnings so we are putting in the money for retained earnings so we go back here because retained earnings is equity so yeah so what we do for equity very well know from Alice when equity is increasing we credit it yeah so we say 20 million Take note guys, when equity is increasing, we credit it. So, for retained earnings, retained earnings, okay. when equity is increasing, we keep our sheet, we credit it, yeah. Can't explain that right now. It's a way to match together for equity. Is that a listing here? Yeah? Is that a listing? So yeah. Now we have to match together. So it's a seven. New. Yeah. So you're about to post to the retained earnings. Can't blah blah blah. Oh yeah. I want to post to just here. Okay. Then capital stock, which is also known as share capital, we have 180. It's a share. Penny. If it is increasing, we. Yeah. It's the same here. So let's wonder why do we credit our equity yet it's like our money yes it is our money but share cap is money that is stock value so because our opening balance equity is increasing we debit our share cap is reducing we credit i think that's how i understand it but anyway anyway you understand okay Okay, so that's nice. So we see seven. Nice, 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 nice. Um, then we are done making what? General, general entries. So, but what I want to know that your entries of your money has been like added there. Just close your general entries. Come to accountant. Yeah. Accountant. Check some accounts. I think. Yeah. Check some accounts. Then you'll see all the accounts. So all the money is here. Mm. All the money is here. You just step on Orient Bank. You see that all the money is there in Orient Bank. This is you know, bank deposit or that balance. That. Start spending. You'll see. You see. Now and where these equities. So. Retained earnings, is it? Retained earnings. See, so retained earnings. Love this. See, so it's the amount. Yeah. In your capital, there's a one eight. So yeah. 
it was an increase. Just be wondering, he comes with credited, but yet showing an increase. Because logically, the money is coming from us, the investors, and they're putting it into the company. So it increases the company's opening. So, makes sense. Let's continue. So, we're going to now go to this part of the question. We're going to this part of the question where they ask us to, in addition, the volume transactions took place during the year 2018. This should be recorded in QuickBooks accounting software. It's a mob job. Even this, whoever is scared to me, this thing made things job says our checks. But let's see how we do them. The first one, number one, on 10th January 2018. A cash purchase of 400 cases of Pepsi soda was made from LV Bottling Company Limited at a cost of 24,000 each. Payment was made through Stanley Bank. Okay, seeing a cash purchase, no buza buza. Anyway, a cash purchase. The payment was made through Stan Big Bank. So, so you're going to see from LV Bottling Company Limited. So we bought we bought four hundred cases. No, huh? bought four hundred cases of. So in QuickBooks, what you do, you come here, banking, write a check. Sorry, my windows has issues. Yeah, crack it later. So banking you say right checks. So you make it big shit. No, later. Sorry. Windows. So we did it later. So we made the payment through Stanley Bank. The date was January of tenth. Right. Eighteen. I put the order of is it no L V. See, so I painted this game. Mm, budgets. So you just in the memos you just write something simple. Purchase of Pepsi soda. So we're buying items. Items Pepsi soda. How many cases? Oh shit. Okay. No panic. No panicking. I pressed enter by accident. But what we do? You find find checks. <laughs> Did mm. I mean it has some more shit. You might I normally do I come to accountant and they make such mistakes, okay. Sets of accounts don't panic, it was made to stand big bank. So, see, it's here. And we are not yet finished. So, you tap on it, just double tap, opens the check. <laughs> so, we can edit it, continue editing. So, we are doing 400 cases. So, everything was okay. Um, so, it changes the money, and everything is okay. So here it will change. Purchase of Pepsi Soda, then it says seven. Seven, close. So the thing you have made, you have changed the transaction, you want to record, you change the thing, see? Okay. So it's saying this is not balancing. Maybe like 
se bañó. Yes. So, uh, this is really disturbing my brain. But you can work it out, okay? So I can delete the transaction. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes, okay. So you see, her money is back. So it's turn big. LV bot link. Check the date. 10th. Brilliant PC. Purchase. Purchase, sorry. Purchase. Oops, is that? So sometimes you can press accident, uh, enter by accident, and <laughs> school in the paper. It's Pepsi said I'm buying, buying 400 cases. 400 cases. Okay, so it will show that the money that is actually being cut. So when you see everything is gone, this is a very close. So to put in the right amount, the chance of work out. It's close, close. Now, okay. Sorry for that mishap. So what we have done, we have made the cash purchase of 400 cases of Pepsi soda. But there's a lot of code to go there because I made a mistake. I accidentally tapped enter. But I managed to delete that transaction and redo it again. So try and follow that keenly. Yeah. Okay. Um we're now going to the second transaction it says on 15th February. 15th February. On 15th February, um let me see. Yeah. On 15th February. Um on 15th February, yeah, sorry, I was just checking out for my recording how big it's going to be. And I wanted that 65 MBs to prepare data guides. So on 15th February 2018, the company received payment from its customers. So the customers deposited payments on Stanbury Bank. So on February, company received payment. Miss customers, see. Miss customers, customers deposited payments. So you're going to see that we had some guys were demanding us. Hmm? What do you do? And they deposit it all. And so you just come here. Uh, Benda. And that is it, they are customers. So receive payment. Hmm? Receive payment. So company received payment from its customers. The customers deposited payments on Stan Big Bank. So this is more corner shoppers. He's paying us five million. So received from who? corner shop. Uh, payment method. There's a cash check. Yeah, they deposit the money payments this time. So you just say check. Then the date was 15th here. Check number, we don't know. Even cash is called. Doesn't really matter. So to which account? Stand big. So to check these places very well. Um so you tick here, see? Yeah. Then so how much is he paying so far? See? Five million so you change that. Yeah. Five. Then so the memo here be like payment received or something. Payment received. Payment received. Something simple. Ain't a big deal. Um. So 
So you see here, there's where there's underpayment. Leave this as an underpayment for right of extra amount. Sometimes the question they will tell you, customer paid this and blah blah blah. So you see, because we have another one, we used to have to choose leave this as an underpayment or right of extra amount. If you tell it right of extra amount in the paper, you take it there. If they tell you don't do shit, don't do shit. <laughs> so you see, save a new so that you can enter for the next guy. Look through your work, see everything is gone. Save a new. <laughs> then we are doing now for the zero out the three million. The zero out yeah. They did those payments in the same date, same bar. Just tick here. So you just change here. Three. Yeah, trying to pay. So you say payment, 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 received. Um, then since it's our last transaction, payment that they're making to us, you just come here and be like save and close. Thank you. Quick. Yeah, so. Yeah, someone was wondering why did you choose cash? Because they deposited the payments in our account. Could be cash, could be anything, but still, it doesn't matter. The fact that the transaction has been recorded, it has not been specified. So, prefer cash. Just check if you wish. The third option here, third number, on 20th April, a cash, a cash sale of 1,500 cartons of Ono juice. A TGX that fifty thousand each was made to Mukono Shopper, and the payment was received through Orient Bank. The payment was received through Orient Bank. Um, uh, cash sale, blah blah blah, blah, blah. and then to Mukono Shopper, and the payment was received through Orient Bank. So what you do here? You come to cash sale. So take note of this 35k. Each was made to Mukono. Mm -hmm. okay. So our customers, our customers were buying stuff. Okay. We're buying stuff hmm? and we receive the payment through so normally what i do i come to customers and i'm like receive payments okay so because because i was buying shit because normally we buy they're buying shit from us they're buying things from us the receive payments option wouldn't be good as the enter sales receipt sales receipt it shows that because it's it's buying is buying um uh, corner shop as is buying so you see you come and say mukono shop as nigga you deposit the money on orient bank okay you deposit the money on orient bank he's buying one Books whining. So the money was deposited in Orient Bank. Uh, sale number one. On each date though. Twentieth. See. So yeah. Um. They have not given us a check number, so the payment method could have been maybe cash. Cash a check. Come in. I'll just use check for now. But is it? It's a cash sale, so man. I'll use cash. It's cool. Payment method cash. So they were buying items. They were buying on the juice. It's on the juice. Yes. Buying on the juice. 1,500 cartons. Uh. So you don't have. 
sufficient quantity available to sell one thousand. And you'd be like, okay. If you like to learn how to trap orders, uh, okay. Yes, okay. Cool. I'm selling it at thirty-five grand. Thirty-five. Right. Just stop. This is going to be basic. This do not so that's it. So customers message is saying thing this is pleasure working with you. Mm -hmm. Done deal, very really like that thing, done deal. So once that is done, so you make a sales receipt. So you're going to see here we're receiving we're making a car sale. Make a cash sale, you have to give the guy a sale receipt, which is what we're making here. And you say save and close. Uh, I say ignore that one. Don't record the payment then. That's okay. Then number three, number four. And as to finish, I do the reports that. We know that's it. On first May 2018, the company made the following payments through Orient Bank. Serious payments, right? Through Orient Bank, the company made the following payment. So we're going to pay off some guys. So you come here, go to vendors, pay bills. See, let me make it big so you can understand. So um so we're going to make payments to century bottling and lv so you just tap tap so for the first major payments to the suppliers is eight million and four million it's a century we're paying them eight right yeah let's put eight and to lv we're paying them Oh, right. So you're interesting when you put in those figures. Let me tap somewhere. Like, yeah. When you put in those figures, you can come and see the date. So the date was first May 2018. First May. See? Ask me check up for check. And you're paying using which bank? All payments, I mean, the main payment through your bank. So, orient is there already waiting. So, as you see, everything is gone. You look through to be printed. What in the mail figures are the ones? The old ticks, then you say, pay selected bills. And you'd be like, I'm done, bitches. So, that is done. You go to the next one, these are the other payments. So I'm going to just write checks. So what we do, you come here, banking, write checks. Uh are spending money on salaries and what? What? Let me see. So this is salaries and wages. Okay. Salaries and wages and telephone. So these are salaries. So the other expenses, see? Eh? Under expenses, don't have salary. I see two of one. Okay. So, so what I normally do is so control eh? put my chat of accounts, create an expense. Can I like just get rid of one of these expenses, advertising and promotion? I edit the account salaries and wages. So, brilliant, right? Salaries and wages. <coughs> edit the description to salaries and something. Shit. Salaries and wages. This is a yeah, it's an expense. So, 
Let me be telephone. Let me want to edit it. Yeah. To just fall. So that when you go, when you close your chat of accounts, we're going to make payment for salaries and wages. Amount. We are paying how much? Three million. So you just type in. This is under terminal. Mm. Oh, it is. I went out here so the telephone. I don't want to come back. Telephone, you're paying how much? One, two, three, one. So payment telephone then you just be like paid salaries and telephone so once that is done, you just save and close. Click through the date sheet. It was that first May. Okay, it was first May. First May. First of sector. First of Orient Bank. Uh -huh. So that doesn't really matter. Yeah, put the order of doesn't really matter, but it matters when it's new paying the key find out custom so yeah we're done in number four um number five let me push these are the last ones number five saying on first july 28 the company made electronic funds transfer of 20 million from standing bank to pretty cash and made the following payments so you just come you first make the transfer uh transfer funds they say from stand big city how much 20 million see we're making a transfer of 20 million see okay 20. See very easy. Um, and which date first July? First transfer from standing bank to PT. Cash transfer from Stanley Bank to Petty Cash. Then you be like save and close. Yeah, be like save and close. Mm. So once that's done, you come and again pay these payments. Courage out for this an expense. And Means and refreshment. So the way I see it, me and remember I just come to control A and this thing. Choose one of these blue expenses which are useless. No, like, which one here? Yeah. I do see. I do see meals and refreshments. Okay, that's nice. Then see courage outwards. So. I can just turn this into courage. Oh, what? See? Very easy. Very easy, guys. Can do. Can 
19. Send it, I guess. Encourage. Oh, it went. Is it? It went close. I just edit this to uh, meals and re, right? Okay. Fresh meats. See? Yes, is it one? Clothes. It's okay. Meals and refreshments. So you go back to. So that's editing. That's what it helps. So you come here, say banking, rate, check. I'm not going to make these payments to these accounts. See? So we go back. Make it big. Making this payment through petty cash. Okay. And then. Called courage out what's here. Yeah. Paying two point five. See here, it's two point five. Then there's some meals and refreshments. Okay, menu. Payment. Courage. Now, towards um, payment. Oh, meals and I paid a price. This one, my mouse. I put in smaller than payments. Meals. So it doesn't hurt you typing these memos. It makes you look organized. It makes you look like you know what you're doing. So all this have been on first July. Confirm your date. Yeah. See, is everything look good? So you say seven. Oh. Pay me to the right bank. On 25th August, the company purchased 200 cartons of Ono juice at 26,000 each on credit from Century Bottling Company. So we bought these things on credit. So what do we do? To buy shit on credit, we come to vendor, they say enter bill. Oh, okay. The bill. So it is century. Is it century? I just um manage date something August twenty fifth August. I just I mean so I bring two hundred cartons two hundred at twenty six twenty six uh do you want to update the item? Yes and no. Then you say okay. 
if the tell uh, update you didn't see this question didn't tell us to update it so you know buying shit on credit Mm, let me see is everything okay that is cool see you just see credit credit mm, purchased on yes huh? credit with it so let's make things look nice is this even close? Seven close. See? Then on 31st August, um, a credit sale of 300 cases of Pepsi soda and 40,000 each was made to the zero. So when you're making a credit sale, you say create an invoice. You create an invoice because you're making a credit sale to the zero. See. Mm, let me see if there are any terms. There are no terms. So it's just just the company increased. So four hundred cases. Forty. Okay. Very nice. But it was on which date? Date? The first August. The first August customer message. It's been a pleasure. Credit. Credit sale in Blake Seven or something like that. So it's seven. <laughs> then um, on thirty first December twenty eighteen, salaries and wages of five million accrued. Yeah, you make a general entry. Hmm? Make a general entry. Make your general entry. So you come here, content, make general general entries. So, because this was 31st December 2018, guys, take note. In here, I'm going to have a new come a call new. I have to know where accrued expenses go, so not there again. Uh, prepaid. Uh -huh. So it's here. Yeah. Checking to see, but to me, it would be another current liability. Why you see an accrued expense it becomes money becomes a problem for, for the company, you see, because they have to pay, they have to pay. So, I'm going to make it out. Uh, current liability so accrued salaries and uh, wages. I stand corrected by the way. 
looking at LAN. Is that correct? Accrued salaries and wages. Now it's asking me for account details. Yeah. Is. Other assets. I think it can be an asset. So where do we fall? Good thing in uh, the expenses. Because oh. it's a current liability, you know. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. It's two hundred and thirty-four. Okay. So for accrued salaries and wages, sorry. Normally here, you're going to have the salaries and wages account here, yeah. okay. and the accrued salaries and wages. I'm going to put it. Because when I put it at the other current liabilities, it's, it's like creating. So, I'm going to add new. It's an expense, yes. Can't put it in the long term, okay. Mortgages, long term loan. still over here so accrued i'm going to put it in the long term just accrued accrued salaries and wages accrued accrued So, it's still asking for an account number. No need, same as So, we can't even edit it. So, so what do we debit? Do we debit? Do we, what do we debit here? Yeah. So, because the money is being accrued to the next financial year, it's being added to the next financial year. So, what do we do? We debit the salaries and wages. Then we accrue. Then we credit the accrued. Is that right? Where's my internet? <laughs> so let me check the internet. I'm a little bit rusty. Um. Uh, Accrued expenses. Okay. So accrued expenses. Also, it's a liability that reflect uh, expenses that have not yet been paid or not done. And the accounts bill. Okay. So it's salaries and wages. Okay. Yes. 
assets uh, credit under liabilities sales rate yeah Um, yum, 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 you guys are waiting. <laughs> ah. ah, it's also known as an accrued liability. What do we do for liabilities? Hmm? Liabilities increasing. So, this is what I meant to do. Five million here. Yeah. See? And here. Yeah. Then the memo will be like mm, awkward. Awkward salary and wages. Simple as that. Copy, paste, but you can continue to do research. I can be corrected, I stand corrected every time because I had to learn. Let's finish this. So, this is a new, no need to save a new. So, our next, the final part is the company depreciates building at 5% per annum using straight line method. And delivery trucks are depreciated at ten percent per annum using reducing balance. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to confirm from the internet. Uh, okay. So we know that when our liabilities increase with credit and we decrease with debit. When expenses increase, debit. Okay, this is interesting. Our liability has increased. On that option number eight, number eight, our liability has increased, which is very rich. Yeah. So you're going to see that our liability has increased, our expense has, in, has decreased, sorry. Our expense <laughs> is increasing, and our liability is increasing. So that I've, that's what I've done. Yeah, makes sense. This is even plus. Seven you because we have to do now for depreciation. Mm -hmm. See, so I'm right. Seven you. So for depreciation, for depreciation, the calculations have. How am I going to take it is cumulated depreciation So, so they are saying, yeah. So they are saying the company depreciates its buildings at five percent per annum using straight line method. So straight line method, we're going to do this building. 
been accumulated yeah now that makes sense so at five percent so what is five percent five percent of the building's money so you just get five percent just get a calc you see five percent five percent and us to do the reports so let's hurry five percent and calculating five percent uh, of uh, the building is 100 million so it is 5 million so so the value of the building is reducing see but the depreciation Does that make sense? The value of the building is going to reduce by 5 million, but we're going to add this to the accumulated depreciation. So, does that make sense to me? Mm. Depreciation, depreciation, depreciation of building. See, so it makes sense depreciation so you can see the value of the house reducing and the accumulated depreciation of building see so you credit the building because it's the value of the house is reducing but the accumulated depreciation is increasing yeah both assets <laughs> yeah so we say seven close seven new we are going to do the same for um, delivery truck is at 70 million. Let me press it. 70 million. Yeah. So you see, you're saying delivery trucks are depreciated at 10%. And I'm using reducing balance. What does that mean? Reducing balance method, you get that price. Of that truck, it is 70 million minus you get the price of the truck, it is 70 million minus the accumulated depreciation. Sorry, minus the accumulated depreciation for that truck, which is 14 million. The answer you get, you multiply it times 10. Is it what percentage is that? You multiply it in that percentage here. The answer you get times ten percent. So times ten. It is five point six. So the value of the delivery truck is going to reduce, but the account depreciation is going to increase. So by five point six. See? So that's how I approach this thing. And here, just put depreciation. We see the value of the truck. So I'm going to explain to you. Let me see when close. So when you go to the charts of accounts here, uh, now let's look at the delivery truck. You can see the value of the delivery truck has reduced because it's depreciating. See, the value of the truck has reduced with every year that passes same as the building it depreciates every year that passes with your call five so makes sense 
Okay. Um, let me see. What's remaining? If you're not in the same box as me, because I did this in the night, you can see it's 3.27 a.m. So, okay, so we're going to now do the reports. I'm done with the question. We're going to do the reports, chop, chop. So, first of all, they told us to generate a report in PDF format, showing a summary. They are just in general entries here, yeah, part C. So, 17. So I'm going to come to reports. Home. Where are you? They want adjusting. They want the adjusting. Hmm. Adjusting. So you come to account and adjusting travel. Make it big. So hazard. Hmm. Thirty first December twenty seventeen. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So me yeah, I'm going to come and I put here custom seventeen seventeen I put uh Any refresh. So that's the adjusted trial balance for Jogo. So you can see from the question, from the question, it's saying generate report in PDF format showing the summary of adjusting general entries at 31st December 2017. So this is it. So you come to file, save as PDF, see, tap on it. Then there, then you say adjusted. Is it adjusted? Try balance as at thirty first December twenty eighteen. Say, so I pay it allows to save. So if it refuses that it can't save, say, okay, I'll fill your sheet. Can't exit the uh, create new Excel. Uh, give it time. Then you say export. So in tab export, it will take it to um to open an Excel sheet. It's running, struggling behind it. So it's here. Just make this big. Okay, everything is there. We just come to file. Servers. Oh, this PC has issues. So, so just the servers. Load. So we prefer desktop. That could be here. So you just say adjusted trial okay. balance as at the reverse twenty. See, so the reports are they asking us to make? Let me see. They're also telling us to make um, Bangui. Let's 
Setting us to post all transactions one to nine above and generate the following reports in a PDF. So we did that. But you go save all the reports in your folder on desktop. So it is an inventory evaluation summary. Let's come to reports. That is inventory. Summary by detail. Is it detail? Summary by product. Evaluation summary. Come, let me just close this. Contributes inventory by anything. So, by summary, let's see. So, by product, yeah, that's it. Yeah, then you just, just excel it. Excel it. Excel. Create new. So before you change, take it out. Check out these dates. So just say custom. Watch out for the dates before you just rush. So they say it does that. It was December 2018. So 18. Refresh and then you say, Okay, come on, excel it, export it. CC QuickBooks is like quite easy to use once you're done with the other things. So, the Excel thing is here, it's ready. See, so you just have to sell it as. Inventory. Event. Evaluation. Do you want? Summary. Summary. By product. Get your time, download this, send it to each other, can help you. It's like the way download a movie. You know the correct spelling of summer? Mama, I'm going. Okay. It's done saving to work on this PC. Then the other, the other f report customer balance detail for all transactions. Customer balance detail. But so, customer. All transactions. All transactions. Yes, ex Excel it. So this is customer retail transactions, guys. Okay. So that is customer balance detail for all transactions. Then it says save. So as it saves, see you know you're crushing on a moment here. My BBC student vendor vendor balance detail. See all transactions. 
so easy thing just comes in place okay with the balance in the balance detail <laughs> okay so I think every balance I'm gonna move it up yeah so it's the last one all these reports i just want statement statement of profit orders for year ended standard standard statement of profit orders so it's not yet here yeah. So from first to this January through December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't prefer this. This from thirty first January. Yeah. So because See, so that looks nice. Okay, then you excel it. Export. They call it a standard statement of profit dollars here in standard statement for profit. For a year in the thirty first December.
Me no standard balance sheet. I know. So um now we are concluding. I need guys to like tell me where we could have made mistakes, you know. Where we could have made mistakes. I need correction because most of it will be trusty. But I believe most of the things I've done are right. So yeah. So very fresh. Does it balance? Oh, to tell us it's a lot. Okay, very balance. It's just standard. That's what matters. The balance. So. Okay. So we save. Standard balance sheet. See, fail servers. Standard. This Okay, it's nice. It's nice. Appreciate, appreciate. So yeah, so for the reports, that's it. So if you need any inquiries, I'll be here in my WhatsApp. I think I prefer. I prefer no. I prefer putting this video in Telegram because it's really big. It's really a huge one. Yeah, it's really huge and you can see my record there. Uh, and I in 304 MBs. And it's a two hours video. So yeah. I won't stop recording right now because I'm done for now. Thank you. Stop recording.